In many real situations, to compensate damping in an oscillatory motion, we provide the system with an external forcing to keep it oscillating. We saw in previous lessons the solution of the harmonic oscillator with damping. We can add to the system an external periodic force. Let's say F0 times the sine of omega t. Here, F0 is the maximum magnitude of the applied external force, and omega is the frequency of the periodic force. This frequency is a generic frequency and has nothing to do with the natural frequency of the oscillator omega naught. The oscillator wants to oscillate at omega naught, but the external force is being applied with a different frequency omega. There is a competition between them. Now, the differential equation to be solved is this one. Remember that this differential equation is nothing more than just Newton's second law. Here we can see the term of the elastic force of the spring, the force of friction, and the periodic external force. So we have three different forces acting on the spring. We already saw what is the effect of the interaction between the spring and the damping from friction. The solution to this equation is interesting now, as it has a transient chaotic behavior. This transient chaotic motion fades away after a while, and after that, it performs a periodic motion with frequency omega. The fact that the external frequency is not the same as the natural frequency makes the system be forced periodically, but not at the rate it would be natural. Not at the rate it would absorb all the energy provided by the external force, but at a different frequency. This is then the solution to the differential equation. This is the solution for the position of the bob as a function of time. A times the cosine of omega t plus v. Here the amplitude of the oscillations is expressed in terms of the parameters of the system. It depends on the magnitude of the periodic force. It depends on the damping. It depends on the mass of the bob, and it depends on the natural frequency of the oscillator. Remember that omega naught is the square root of k over m. What we have inside the square root of the denominator is always positive, but it depends on the frequency of the external force. When the external frequency is equal to the natural frequency, the denominator is minimum, and therefore the amplitude of the oscillations is maximum. This maximum amplitude is then F0 over B omega. Here we say that the system is in resonance. Right for a frequency equal to the natural frequency, the system absorbs all the energy and the oscillations are optimized. It is only friction that dissipates energy. Now, if damping is small, this means that B is small and the amplitude becomes very large. That is something that you want to take into account when designing any system, any experiment, any device, because this resonant might be what you want to optimize the detection of an oscillatory signal, for example, or might be one you want to avoid if you are designing a mechanical device that needs not to blow because it reaches its limit. For example, when you tune your radio receptor to listen to a specific radio station, what you are doing is searching for the resonance of a specific frequency, that of your radio station. But if a large group of people walk on a bridge, stepping right at the natural frequency of the bridge, they might be at risk of the bridge collapsing. May science be with you.